morning, standing tall, feet parallel, ankle, knees and hips in line, engage the core, so lower abs, hips, glutes, pelvic floor, pull that all up as tight as you can, release it a little bit so you can still breathe, then relax the shoulders and relax the knees. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. I'm going to look to the left, center and right, center, left, center, right. Make sure you're still breathing and keeping your shoulders relaxed. Left, center, and right. Bring it back to center. And we're going to look up to the ceiling, down through the center, chin to chest. Back up to the ceiling, down through the center, chin to chest. Back up to the ceiling, down through the center, chin to chest. Last one, look up to the ceiling, down through the center, chin to chest. Bring the head back to neutral. Make sure the core's still engaged, soft knees, shoulders are down and relaxed, the arms come out wide. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Really reach out through the fingertips. Now imagine the air's really heavy and we're gonna rotate the palms up and lift up. Rotate, push back down. Rotate, up, rotate, down. So tall through the spine, soft knees, keep breathing. We're going to do one more. Now keeping the arms wide, we're going to rotate the palms forward. And we're going to reach forward, open out the shoulder blades, rotate, push back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open out the chest. Ball through the spine. And we're going to go for one more. Bring the arms down. Shoulder roll. And another one. Okay, so standing tall, we're going to do a side bend. So reaching across the head. Push the hip out to the side. Really reach through the fingertips. Bring it back through the center. And then take it the other way. Breathe in. Last one. Come back up to the center. Now standing tall, keeping the core engaged and soft knees. Squeeze the glutes, stop the pelvis rotating. We want that pelvis to stay forward facing as we rotate and look down the back arm and bring it back to centre, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. The arms stay in line with the shoulders. So work in the upper and mid part of the back. Okay, after the light in this last one, we're going to release the glutes and allow the pelvis to rotate. Working further down the back. Make sure you keep your shoulders down and relaxed. Tall through the body. Okay, one more each side. Bring it back to centre. Arms come down. Shoulder roll, and another one. We're standing tall on the left leg. If you need to hold on to something for this one, please do. We're just going to take the knee out to the side and open out the hip. So tall through the body. 
the shoulders relaxed, core engaged. One more. You change sides. Standing tall. Take the knee out to the side. Keep breathing. And last one. Come back onto the left leg. Again, standing tall. We're going to do wrists and ankle. So rotation. Try and make sure the rotation just comes from the ankle, not from the knee. And completely from the wrist. As big a motion as you can get. Then take it the other direction. And then we're going to do flexion, point and flex. Okay, we're going to change sides, standing tall, rotation. Change direction. Flexion, point and flex. And then coming back, feet parallel, ankle, knees and hips in line, core engaged. You're going to come up onto the toes, reach up through the body, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. So reach up through the fingertips till you feel the rib cage lift. And then as slow as you can, come back down through the feet, lift the toes, push the hands back. Try and make sure you're just going straight up. Breathe in, it's as controlled as you can. Go for two more. Relax the upper body. I'm now just going to change the camera so you can see my feet. Mix can wave with the feet. So lift the big toe, then the next one, then the next one, all the way to the little one, and then all the way back. Or any movement at all that you can get. If you need to, you can do your fingers as well. So big toe, next one, the next one, all the way to the little one, and then all the way back. Really work the feet. Especially this time of the year when we're all stuck in boots and wellies and, and that. Going a couple more. Okay, now we're just going to lift the big toe, just the big toe, and put it down. Just the big toe, put it down. Just the big toe it down, just the big toe, put it down, just the big toe, put it down, now lift the big toe, keep the big toe lifted and then you're going to lift and drop all four small toes. Really let those feet work. And the last one. 
Okay, then we're going to push into the toes and the tops, the toes and the tops, toes, and tops, toes and tops. Change sides, toes and tops, toes, and tops, toes, and tops. Change sides, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge inside edge outside edge change sides inside edge outside edge inside edge outside edge inside edge outside edge and come back up standing so standing tall feet just slightly wider than hip distance apart the feet can go off slightly at an angle because when we squat make sure the knees track the feet so make sure they go in the same direction as your feet Engage the core, relax the shoulders, tuck the tailbone in, and we're just going to come down, push the bum back, and slowly push back up. So come down, keep the chest high, slowly come back up. So core engaged to protect the lower back, shoulders down and relaxed, head and neck staying neutral. Breathing. Going for two more. Okay. There. Do the same thing again, but this time we're not going to come all the way up. We're going to come down, come part way up. Just hold it there. Bring it back down, come part way up. Keep the core engaged, take it down, part way up. Take it down, part way up. Take it down, keep the core engaged, shoulders relaxed, part way up. We're going for two more. Go down, part way up. The last one, take it down, part way up, all the way up. Okay, take the legs wider. Again, feet can be going off to the side, whichever angle suits your hips. Core engaged, take the tailbone in. Arms come out in front. We're gonna squat down and hold. Shoulders down and relaxed. Keep breathing. The chest needs to stay nice and high. Head and neck stay in neutral. And we're gonna pulse for 10, slow and steady. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. Okay, we're going to go again. Core engaged, put the tailbone in, shoulders relaxed. Bring it down. Bum a little bit lower, keeping the shoulders relaxed. We're going to lift alternate heels. Really make sure you're getting those heels as high off the ground as you can. Really working the calves and inner thighs. Keep breathing. Okay, one more each side. Bring it back up. Give the legs a shake if you need to. 
Again, tuck the tailbone in, core engaged, shoulders relaxed, bring it back down. Last one of these, then we're going to go on the mat. Okay, from here, we're going to lift both heels off the mat. Get the balance, keep the core engaged, keep their shoulders relaxed, keep breathing. Feels nice and high. We're going to pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back up. Give them a shake. Okay, we're going to come down onto the mat and we're going to work on our sides today. So if you just adjust the camera so you can see. Okay, so to start with, we're going to have the bottom leg bent and the top leg straight. You can be on your elbow or on your arm because we're going to come up into a half plank. Um, if you're on your elbow, make sure you keep lifted up out of the shoulder joint. So we're going to come up and lift from the hip. Uh, if you're up on your hand, you can have the hand in any position that's comfortable for you. Just make sure that your core's engaged and you stay in line. So don't allow the body to come forward. Keep the chest nice and open. We're going to go for 10 each side. So pick your option. Really lifting from the hip. Breathing. change sides so get the position right pick your arm position of choice make sure you're nice and straight through the body so as you look down your elbow sorry your shoulder hip, hip knee and ankle should all be in line with your shoulder so when you lift up you should have a nice straight line through the body no bum sticking out the back Keeping the posture nice and straight, the body all aligned. two okay come back to the original side so we give the arm a bit of a rest and that hip that we're leaning on for this one you can come onto the elbow or come down onto the arm and be lying however's comfortable for you I'm going to come up and I can see you all. So if you're up on your elbow, make sure your elbow is underneath the shoulder and you're lifted up out of the shoulder joint. Make sure the chest is nice and open. So we're in a nice alignment. Now we're going to have the legs straight, both legs straight, so hips stacked. Keep 
Don't let the hip drop back. Keep this nice and straight so your body's 90 degree to the mat. You can use this hand for a bit of support. And we're gonna point the toes up and flex down. Point up, flex down. Slow and steady, don't rush it. And make sure you're taking your foot up through the side of the foot. Don't allow the leg to rotate. Otherwise you'll have the quad doing the work. That's what we want. The IT band and the adductors and abductors to do the work. And the smaller glute muscles. Keep breathing. Last one up, bring it back down, pause and hold, just hover the leg above the other one. Keep breathing, I know the hips getting a little warm now. I'm going to pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Allow it to go down, give it a rub if you need to. Then we're going to point forward, flex back. Point forward, flex back, body stays still. Don't allow the body to rock, so really use the core. Keep breathing. Okay, last one. Bring the legs back together, bend the knees. Glue the heels together, make sure the hips stay stacked. Put the hand on top of the hip to stop the hip dropping back. And we're going to do clamshells. So we're going to open the leg, open the knee, work in the inner thighs. If you're on your elbow, make sure you're lifted up out of the shoulder joint. Keep breathing. Next one, we're going to lift the knee, hold it up there, really push it back. Don't let the hip drop, but really push that knee back and release. Lift the knee, hold, push, keep breathing, keep everything else relaxed and release. Two more. Lift, push the knee back and release. Lift, push the knee back, keep breathing, hold and release. Now we're going to glue the knees together and lift the heel, rotate the heel up. Flex the foot if you can. Last one. And we're going to change sides and we're going to do that all again on the other side. Get yourself nice and lined up. So pick your arm position. You want to be nice and lined up, shoulder, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle all in line, body 90 degrees to the mat. So really tall along the body. And then we're going to point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Slow and steady. Try and make sure the movement coming down is nice and controlled. Not allowing gravity to help us. Again, using the side of the leg, allowing the foot to rotate.
last one. Bring it back down, hover the leg, hold. Keep breathing, smile. And pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Allow the leg to come down. Give it a rub if you need to. Then we're going to point forward, flex back. Point forward, flex back. Nice and slow and steady. Keeping the body nice and stable. One more. Bring the legs together, bend. So we've now got shoulder, hip and ankles in line. The knees are in front, hand stumps onto the hip, glue those heels together. And we're going to lift the knee. On the next one, we're going to lift the knee, hold, really push it back. Don't allow the hip to drop back and release. Lift, push the knee back and release. Lift, push the knee back and release. Last time, lift, push the knee back and release. I'm going to glue the knees together, flex the top foot, and rotate heel up. Around to sit in for me. So sitting tall. If you find this hurts your back, sitting with the legs out straight, either put the rolled up mat or a uh, towel underneath your, your bum just to lift your pelvis slightly off the mat, or you can put a slight bend in the knee. Shoulders down and relaxed. Hands just gently by the side. We're just going to lift the right leg. And release it down. Lift and hold and release. So if you, as you lift, if you find your torso is going back, then you're lifting the leg too high. It doesn't matter if it's just off the mat. Core engaged, tall through the body, shoulders relaxed and release. Lift and release. Lift and release, lift and release, lift and release, last one, lift, hold, keep breathing, I'm going to pulse for 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change leg, Lift and release. Lift and release. Lift and release. Get the core engaged, shoulders relax. Release. Lift. Release. Lift. Last one. Hold. Think nice thoughts. Only want good vibes coming this way. 
and pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Okay, same thing. We're going to sit tall through the body, hands gently by the side, no weight really coming through. This is just for balance. So the body stays still as we take the leg out to the side and bring it back. Same leg out to the side, take it back. If you find the torso is dropping back, don't take the leg out so far. We're working the quads and the inner thigh muscles. If you can get a lift, as though you're lifting the leg over something. Then we'll go for one more. Change sides. Last one. Okay. Sitting tall. We're going to do our bum walks. So we're going to walk six steps forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now make sure this is the hips and pelvis doing this. And then back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to use the upper body too much. Go for one, two, three, four, five, six, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. For one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Take the legs wide. So sitting really tall through the body, core engaged, hands gently by the side, again for a bit of support. Make sure the pelvis stays on the mat and you're gonna drop the knee down towards the mat. Doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way down, it's gonna depend on your hip flexion and the um, inner and outer thigh muscles. So just working a bit of movement within the hip. Doesn't matter if one knee can get further down than the other. It's often quite normal to have one side different to the other. You also might find yourself walking down the mat. Too much. Okay, we're going for one more each side. Okay, now this time the pelvis will lift as we take both knees to the left trying to keep them in 90 degree bends as you as you take them to the side. Upper body stays relaxed, bring it back to center and then take both knees to the right. Back to center, both knees to the left. Back to center, both knees to the right. One more each side or until you get to a piece of furniture. I can't go any further okay. and bring it back to center. Okay, so just give the legs a bit of a shake. Right, so from here, we're going to come back up to standing and do a hip flexor stretch and then do a little bit of balance work. Okay, so just stretch those hip flexors. Let's get tight with all the sitting that we do, working chairs from home that are not really suitable sometimes. So make sure the feet stay hip distance apart. We take the leg back. Now take it back far enough that you feel the stretch through the front of the right hip. Drop the weight through the center so the chest stays high. You may feel this a little bit in the lower back, so make sure you pull the core in. Relax the shoulders. If that's enough of a stretch for you, stay there. 
Otherwise, we're going to bring the arms up by the ears and really reach through the fingertips, which should extend the stretch up through the back. If that's enough of a stretch, stay there. Otherwise, if your right leg is going back and your left knee is bent, we're going to keep the weight through the center and we take the fingertips over towards the left. Extend that stretch. Keep breathing, keep the head and neck in neutral. The weight drop through the center. Bring the hands to center. Bring the arms down. Step forward and change leg. So step back with the left leg. Right knee stays bent. Make sure the knee stays above the ankle. Drop the weight through the center. Core stays engaged. Feel that stretch through the front of the left thigh. If that's enough of a stretch, stay there. Otherwise, arms come up by the ears. Keep breathing. Keep the weight through the center. Relax the shoulders. If that's enough of a stretch, stay there. Otherwise, we take the fingertips over towards the right. Keep breathing. Bring it back to center. Arms come down, we step forward, we come back to the center of the mat. Okay. And just feet parallel, ankle knees and hips in line, core engaged, getting the standing posture back, shoulders back away from the ears. Okay, so we're just gonna come up onto the toes and slowly back down. So just up onto the toes. Slowly back down. Do a little bit of work on the calves. Slowly back down. The last one. And then we're going to do five on each side, single leg raises. So going up and then down as slow as we can. One. Two. Really making those feet, ankles and calves work. Oh, can't talk and do this at the same time. Three. Four, last one on this side. Five. Oh, I've lost it this morning. Okay. And go again on the other side. So really make sure you're standing tall. Lifted up out of the hip. The knee soft, don't lock the knee. You might find you're better one side than the other. If you can't come down slowly, make sure you go up slowly. Or you can always do this just gently holding on to the back of a chair, just to give you a little bit of support. Two more on this side. Last one. Okay, brilliant. Right, so standing on the left leg, we're gonna come into tree pose. So core engaged, shoulders relaxed. So your positions, our foot just touching down. So heel above the ankle with the toe just touching down for balance. Foot above the ankle or above the knee, so not across the joint, tall through the body, knee out to the side as far as you can, core engaged, lift up through the body and we're going to do 30 seconds, keep breathing. Nearly there, keep the shoulders relaxed. Bring the arms down, bring the leg down, change sides. Put into your position of choice, tall through the body. Keep breathing, shoulders relaxed. Okay, bring the 
arms down. Bring the leg down. Okay, our 20 second challenges, which I hope you've all been practicing. Right. So, first one, feet together, just touching. So very narrow stance, tall through the body, shoulders relaxed, hands on hips and eyes closed. Remember to keep breathing. Okay, now we're just gonna keep that position, but just lift the right leg. Keep the balance, everything else feels the same. Eyes closed if you can. Brilliant, change sides, standing on the right leg. Lift the left one, keep the core pulled in. Keep those eyes closed if you can. Last one, tight rope. So your dominant foot comes in front, heel and toe just touching. Keep the weight even between the two feet. Don't allow the body weight to drop forward. You still want to be in line. Hands come on hips. Just feel the balance there first. And eyes open or eyes closed for this one. So make sure the feet are nice and in line as though you're on a tight rope. Brilliant. A lot less wobbles. Okay, obviously when you're on carpet, it's harder than if you're on a hard floor in a studio. Okay, so interlink the fingers together, push them away, lift up, really grow through the body, take a side bend. Back to centre and side bend and centre. Take the hands behind you, push them away. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Remember to keep the head and neck in neutral. Release the hands. You're gonna shrug the shoulders up to the ears and drop. Shrug them up to the ears and drop. Last one, shrug them up to the ears and drop. And shake the hands out, shake the arms, shoulders, upper body, legs, bit of everything. Thank you ever so much. It's lovely to see so many of you. Um, this session's been recorded and will be put on Patreon. Uh, so if anybody wants to do it again, you can. It's maybe see how much your legs ache tomorrow first.